Hey everybody, it's Elizabeth with World's Cup of Joe, Awaken Your Soul. This channel, we help you in your twin flame connection and with your spiritual journey. So if you like our content, make sure to click the subscribe button um, for more content. Um, now let's go on to detachment and surrendering in your twin flame connection. And I want to start this video off with a quote by Sharon Salzberg, and it says, Detachment is not about refusing to feel or not caring or turning away from those you love. Detachment is profoundly honest, grounded firmly in the truth of what is. So let's go on and how does this apply to your twin flame connection? Attachment to anything in your life, it comes from a place of fear and insecurity. This is no different than the attachment you may feel towards your twin flame. And it's also why this energy will become push if you don't learn how to detach. When you have expectations and preferences in your attachment to your twin, you are not surrendered. What does this look like? What does attachment look like? Why can't they call me? Why don't they want to spend more time with me? Why do they ask for things from me and not give me anything in return? Why won't they commit to me? Why are they with someone else when I know they really love me? All of these questions come from a place of preference and expectation. They are all from mind because soul doesn't care about the answers to any of them. So if you are projecting energies from the mind, you are sending that energy to your person in the form of these thoughts and questions. They get the feeling of the needy attachment, that energy that's based on fear and or insecurities. This is how you can push your twin without even realizing it. It's when you're identifying with the thoughts and questions from mind instead of observing it through soul. Now, these thoughts and questions with them, they're also you identifying with separation consciousness. What is that? That is where you think that you are separate from your twin, but you're not. You are one soul. It's merely the physical and the mind that are separate. Soul is always one and you're always together. When you identify with the separation part of you both, that is what you will continue to see and experience in your 3D life. When you think that they are separate from you and the mind creates the need to be with them in the physical, to be soothed and comforted in your connection, then it will push. This is why you can be right next to your twin. And I know this from experience. You could be right next to your twin while in addictive energy and still feel like they're not close enough because mind thinks that they are separate. They are separate from you. That's what mind thinks. It's why they can tell you over and over that they love you. And the mind still tries to figure out if they are lying or deceiving you. The mind is always on a mission to prove your person's flaws and imperfections, to prove their unfaithfulness or deception, to figure out how this seemingly perfect person wants to be with us. The mind doesn't understand why this perfect person, one that we have placed on such an unattainable pedestal, what could they see in us? How do they love us? Why do they love us? So it starts searching for anything to grasp, to disprove their love for us, to think that this connection is not real. We doubt ourselves as much as we doubt our twins. Now, when you can detach from needing the physical because you can identify as one through soul, that is when you are in unity consciousness. And that is where your twin can find you. That is the energy needed for them to seek and search for you in the physical. To let go and detach, it's releasing the mind's need for them. It's trusting in your soul to the fullest and surrendering. It's pure soul, pure oneness. It is who you really are. And that, my loves, is what they need you to do in order to come back in your physical reality and be able to stay. Understand that you're one. You are already together. You are one soul. You are one. Love you guys.